Hello everyone, welcome to Marlin Chess Kids. Today I will show the game played by Gulio and Oleg M. And the game starts with pawn to e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, and d4 was played. And here you can see the opening is the squash game. Then the black capture the pawn. He takes d4 and now the knight takes d4. And here the black play bishop to c5 attacking the knight. And now the knight to b3 attacking back the bishop. And the bishop back to bishop b6 while maintaining the idea of attacking the pawn at f2 and here is the first five move and the position is equal with the white have a very strong activity as the both bishop is active and the black need another move to move the pawn only can move up the bishop so the game continue knight to c3 and the black play knight to f6 attacking the pawn and here you can see that this blue color is the critical path for the knight to play from g8 to f6 then to g4 and capture the pawn at f and here the knight will fork the queen and the rook and the knight will be protected by the bishop and this is a strategy for the knight to play then the game continue white play queen to e2 and now the black castling as fast as possible to get the king in the safety position and the white play bishop to e3 to trade off the bishop and here the black play d5 instead and here we bring the bishop to active and able to move the bishop out to e6 and protect the pawn or have more activity for the black after this the white play a long castling and now the black move d4 attacking both the knight and the bishop and here the black will the next step you try to move away the bishop the queen and capture the four pieces so after this f3 was played and here the black play bishop to e6 and with the idea of develop the bishop and also attack the knight and here we will allow the rook to be active so after this position the white play bishop to f2 and now one of the great moves that the black play was the knight to g4 and here we have a very brilliant sacrifice knight to g4 and in this position if the pawn to capture the knight then the queen will continue to attack by playing queen to g5 and attack the king 
and then the pawn will capture the pawn the knight at c3 and also the bishop can capture the knight at b3 so after knight g4 the black is slightly better in this position and if here the white play knight to d5 so this position is a tactical blunder and will cause the black to win uh, pieces because after this the black continue to play another great move by pushing the pawn to d3 and attack the queen and now the bishop and the knight has two pieces to attack the bishop and will be winning a piece so after this d3 was played attacking the queen and after this the pawn capture the pawn and now the knight takes f2 winning the bishop and now the knight is fought the two rook so after this the knight capture the bishop knight takes b6 and the pawn takes b6 then queen takes f2 and here the black continue to attack the pawn at a2 and after this the bishop will capture the knight as the pawn that guard the knight is being removed so rook takes a2 and after this the rook can go to the rank at the king So after this, queen to c2 and now the bishop capture the knight bishop takes b3 forcing the queen to capture if the queen do not capture then the bishop will win the rook so queen takes the bishop and after this rook to a1 and check the king and here the king has nothing to block the check so the only way is the king move away from the check in the actual game the king moved to king d2 and after this the black continue to attack by playing queen to g5 and attack the king queen to g5 was played then now again there is nothing that the king can block the check so if you push the pawn then the bishop uh, the queen will just continue to capture the pawn so in the actual game the king move to e1 and at here after the move 19 and here is another mistake that the white play and after this position the black checkmate in seven move i give you a couple of seconds to figure this out well congratulations for those who found the answer and for are the move from the black in the actual game after king to e1 the black move queen to e3 and check the king and the queen is controlling the square of the move that the king can escape 
So after Queen to e3, the white resign the game. If the game to continue, and if the white block with the bishop, then the knight will continue to d4 with the idea of queen capture the bishop and checkmate, and also attacking the queen. So if the king move to f1. Then the queen will just capture the bishop, and after this, king to g1. Then you can just move the queen to e3 and continue check the king. And after king to f1 again, then the knight will just capture the free queen. And now the rook will plan to capture the rook for the back rank checkmate and if the rook capture the rook then you can just play a knight checkmate by playing knight to d2 and checkmate the king as the queen has controlled all the square that the king can move so knight to d2 and checkmate So, if the white wants to delay the checkmate, the white can just play a g3 and then the queen can just capture the pawn at f3 and now any of these two moves will be a checkmate. If the rook move, if the king move to g1, then you just move the rook to capture the rook and checkmate. So back to the disposition, bishop to e2 and knight to d2. And now if the queen move to c2 and protect the bishop, and here the knight can just simply capture the queen. And after king to f1, then the rook can capture the rook and check the king and the queen is controlled the square so rook takes d1 and here the bishop need to capture back the rook and here we have another beautiful checkmate by playing queen to d1 and checkmate the king and control the diagonal queen to d1 and checkmate and with this thank you